Everyone turned their backs on Amber Heard during her six-week trial with her ex-husband Johnny Depp, so she decided to leave Hollywood forever. Now, everyone hated Amber, so due to this, she left Hollywood and relocated to Spain, according to the Daily Mail. She's bilingual in Spanish and is happy there, raising her daughter away from all the noise, a source told the outlet in May 2023. I don't think she's in any hurry to return to work or to Hollywood. Probably come back when the time is right for the right project. The trial was beyond stressful, and she wanted to start fresh, a source told People in April 2023. Now, Amber hasn't worked since filming Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom in 2021, and the thriller movie In the Fire. Now, in a TikTok video posted in May 2023, Amber, who is fluent in Spanish, told local reporters that she loves living in the country and plans to stay there. The former Nickelodeon star Amanda Bynes quit acting in 2011 after working through sobriety and appearing in Easy A alongside Emma Stone. She later explained to Paper Magazine that watching the film made her leave the industry altogether. I literally couldn't stand my appearance in that movie and I didn't like my performance, Amanda said. I was absolutely convinced I needed to stop acting after seeing it. It absolutely changed my perception of things. Now, Amanda then struggled with a lot of mental health issues. And recently, there's been the release of the documentary Quiet On Set, where former Nickelodeon stars have come forward about their mistreatment while working. Amanda chose not to be a part of this, as she wants to put the past in the past, and she's now trying to live a normal life. I started back at school to study manicurist theory and to practice doing acrylics before I take the test again. So I'll be good to go when I get a job at a nail salon, she said. Now, it seems like she's happier and healthier now, so that is really good. Now, Bridget Medler was an icon on the Disney Channel shows Good Luck Charlie and the movie Lemonade Mouth. Now, after her TV show ended, though, she left Hollywood and went back to school. In May 2018, she announced on Twitter that she started a graduate program at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, with a focus on improving social media. In 2020, she completed an MS in Media Arts and Sciences at MIT. As of 2022, she was enrolled at Harvard Law School and at MIT, and in May 2024, she was awarded her JD from Harvard Law. She then co-founded Northwood Space, a satellite data startup, along with her husband in 2023. She's currently serving as the CEO of the company, and in February 2024, she announced that she became the mother of a four-year-old boy, whom she began fostering in 2021 and adopted around Christmas 2022. Mara Wilson was one of the biggest child stars when she left her acting career behind. Now, she starred in Matilda and Mrs. Doubtfire. When she was still young, Mara felt somewhat overshadowed by the characters she played, and she struggled with the difficulties of growing into a young woman after being a child actor, as well as her losing her mother. She spoke about the difficulty of acting school and why she left that career behind. She then went on to write the book about her life, titled Where Am I Now? The True Stories of Girlhood and Accidental Fame. Where Am I Now? True Stories of Girlhood and Accidental Fame. She now continues to write alongside appearing on panels and at stories telling events. The Malcolm in the Middle and Agent Cody Bank star Frankie Muniz revealed that life in Hollywood was not for him, even when he was starring in a hit network sitcom. I never felt like I fully fit in the Hollywood world, even though I was in the world, I was nominated for Emmys and Golden Globes, and I was going to all this stuff, and I was there, and I was like, how am I here? I hated LA, so I kind of stayed in my own little world, my own little bubble, he said. And moving to Arizona, I did it on a whim, and I realized immediately that I started looking up. I started enjoying looking at trees and birds in the sky. Going to the grocery store was a fun thing. You don't get that in LA. It's a miserable experience. Now, the star was always a big fan of racing, and he decided to leave acting in 2006 to follow his dreams. In 2006, Frankie raced in the BMW USA Championships on his way towards competing in the Champ Car Atlantic Championship from 2007 to 2009. Now, he returned to racing in 2021 in stock cars, joining Rhett Jones Racing for a full season in the Arca Menard Series in 2023, where he finished fourth in the standings. Then Cameron herself cited her personal life as the reason behind her brief exit from Hollywood in an interview on Kevin Hart's To Heart Show in April 2020. 21. Now, Cameron became a co-founder of the wine company Aveline, which was launched in July 2020, and she has published several books. Now, although she made a comeback by signing on to star in Netflix's comedy Back in Action, the Daily Mail reported in March 2023 that this was Cameron's last project. 
Now, Cameron married Benji Madden in 2015, and they welcomed their daughter Radix in 2019. Now, the actor first spoke about her grueling work schedule in 2020 on Gwyneth Paltrow's In Goop Health Show. If you're there 12 hours a day for months on end, you have no time for anything else, she said. I realized I handed off parts of my life to all these other people, and I had to take it back. Now, Jennifer Stone was an actor and was best known for playing Alex's kooky best friend Harper on Disney Channel's Wizards of Waverly Place. But now, she is an emergency room nurse at Providence St. Joseph's Medical Center in Burbank, California. She told People she was in college and was trying to decide on her career plans, and she was 20 years old when she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. I was like, okay, let me pivot from majoring in psychology to majoring in something that I can further understand myself better and what's going on with my body and also be able to help people, she told People Magazine. Now, Jennifer graduated from nursing school in December 2019, right before the started. She told Deadline in 2020 that her character work as an actor had been helpful as a medical professional and that she doesn't know if she'd be able to empathize with patients as effectively without being an actor. Nikki Blonsky was a breakthrough star when she appeared in Hairspray, but she didn't really appear in anything as big afterwards. I did not take a conscious step out of Hollywood. Singing and acting had been my dream since I was three, she said. It kind of feels like the industry left me. It's no offense to the industry because I understand that there are new actors and actresses every day, there are new films and new roles to be cast. I've had some great projects, I've done Ugly Betty and Smash and starred in various films. I'm getting ready to be on Off-Broadway. Like you said, however, I've never quite done anything again that's been at that level of hairspray. At a certain point, I just have to throw my hands up and say it is what it is. Now she then earned her cosmetology license and she now works mainly as a hairdresser and a cosmetologist in her hometown Great Neck, New New York. Angus T. Jones is best known for his role as Jake Harper on Two and a Half Men, which he starred alongside John Cryer and Charlie Sheen. Now, following his time on the sitcom, Angus largely removed himself from the public eye. The former actor made headlines in 2012 when he urged viewers to stop watching Two and a Half Men. I'm on Two and a Half Men and I don't want to be on it. Please stop watching it and filling your heads with filth. If I am doing any harm, I don't want it to be here, he said in a YouTube video filmed for the forerunner Christian church, which he has since departed. I don't want to be contributing to Satan's plan. You cannot be a true God-fearing person and be on a television show like that. I know I can't. I'm not okay with what I'm learning, what the Bible says, and being on that television show. And now we have Daniel Day-Lewis. Now he's always remained very private and introverted for a celebrity. Now far from the bright lights of Hollywood or London, the actor has lived in a quiet Irish village for the last 20 plus years. Now he's also known for taking extended breaks between films, like the five year gap between Lincoln and Phantom Thread. However, the latter will supposedly be Daniel's last film as he announced his retirement in June of 2017. Now he didn't give a reason aside from the fact that the impulse to quick took root in him and that he wanted to explore the world in a different way. Now that said, some people believe it was attributed to depression as he was stated to have great sadness. Now regardless, he's left the business and hasn't acted since. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 actors who left Hollywood for ordinary lives. Now did anyone on our list shock you? Let us know in the comments down below and make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. I'm your host Emily and we'll see you next next time. Peace.